Hey, greetings, everyone. Uh, this is beautiful Brian here. Uh, it's been a while since I put together a video for you, and um, could be my last. I, I don't know, really. Um, I don't want to sound grim, but you know, that's the way things are. That's the way the ball uh, the ball bounces. The last month and a half has been an absolute nightmare for me. Uh, and the biggest nightmare of my entire life. Um, started with the COVID-19, in which I was devastated by. I, I did recently um, test negative for the uh, virus, but uh, you know that's beside the point. There's a, a whole bunch of things about it that uh, I want to discuss. Uh, when it first started, I was like, you know, I didn't really think much about it. Um, I don't think it was going to affect us here in uh, New York and it, in, in New Jersey, but it did. And uh, it's still on the rise. So um, so I started going out and buying food and rationing the food and, you know, trying to keep as little, eat as little as possible. And that right away affected my diet completely. I stopped eating. I would eat a little bit. And I was still eating, but I wasn't eating like I used to. And then all of a sudden, it, it, got, it escalated to the point where I stopped eating altogether. And I was just like a lot of liquids. Um, I would go three days without food, three days with liquids, um, supplementing shakes for dinner, or breakfast, whatever. And it you know, took a toll on me, it took a big toll. And, um, I don't know how to say it, but it uh, sent me in a state of depression. The depression was still going on. Uh, I would just bounce from one room to the other, and then I'd lie in the bed in a fetal position and, you know, stop associating with the world, period. Um, and that led to the point where I was taking uh, medication, um, you know, anxiety medication, depression medication, and. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was pretty bad, so um, I ended up going to the doctor. I was in the hospital four times, um, and they checked me out. I, they took a bunch of tests, and they said everything was fine, and, you know, kidneys, liver, um, heart, you know, you name it, uh, it was good. But um, there was one test I didn't take, and that was the... Um, I took a CAT scan for the brain, but I didn't take an MRI for the brain. And I have a feeling that that was the uh, stumbling point right there because it uh, might be a little bit of brain damage. Um, when I sleep, I see double vision. Um, I have to take care of that uh, by just sleeping on another side. Uh, hopefully that would end the nightmare. but. Uh, you know, things just happen the way they happen, and sometimes you can't do anything about it. Um, and I'm trying to battle it um, as best I can. Um, trying to reach out different people that I know, and maybe they can help me. And, um, you know, it's, it's devastating, man. It's one of the most devastating thing I've ever went through in my entire lifetime. Yeah. So, um... I'm just trying to bear with it, try to get through it um, as best as I can. And um, not much more to say. It's just that uh, I hope that you know things work out for the best and uh, that it'll end and that the nightmare will end. I don't know when it'll end, but it just makes you feel like you don't want to do anything, you know, you just want to, it, it's a devastating disease, you know, and it, it could take its toll on you and anyone else, so, if not treated properly, so, I just thought I would end it at that, and I can't really speak too much like I used to, my speech is sort of slurred now, and, um, you know, I uh, could have had a stroke, I don't know, so that's why the less I say the better, really, um, just pray and, and, you know, maybe God will 
uh, helped me in some way. You know. I loved all the years that I was with you guys. Um, it was great. And uh, we had a lot of fun. And maybe we will in the future have a lot of fun. Um, but as for now, uh, it's time to go. Stay well.